Stay tuned for the Best of the Filmmaker Show next, right here on Cablevision Channel 20. By the way, what is it that you're constantly writing in that book each and every day? Or dare I ask? Well, obviously you dare because you did. However, it's nothing you need to know about. Not yet. Oh. Hey, this is Joey Petroni, and today we have the best of both worlds. We have Gov's comedy podcast, Good Times, Bad Times, and we have Jerry Parisi and Joanne Parisi's The Best of the Filmmaker Show together in one show. Man, it's going to be awesome. Uh, we're on set today with Ebenezer the Traveler, and they're filming out here right now in Mount Sinai. They're on their lunch break, so I have a lot of questions to ask. We'll get as many as we can in today's show, so stick around. So we are joining Jerry and Joanne Parisi here on their lunch break, filming Ebenezer the Traveler. How awesome is this? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and where are we right now, Jerry? This uh, is this With lettuce in my mouth? We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we have lettuce in our mouth. They're on their lunch break, yes. and they're kind enough to take a break to join us on today's The Best of Filmmakers Show. Actually, you saved me. I was going to faint without eating in a minute. Oh, really? <laughs> you got to squeeze in your, in, your, in your lunch when you can. Definitely. That's Definitely. what we do out here, you know, that's for sure. Right, honey? Yes. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in Mount Sinai. Yeah. These are our private sets. Okay. And we actually rent the whole grounds and the house when we need to. Right. And this is the 1800s rooms. Mm -hmm. And that, that's how we do that. We also have other sets down in Staten Island okay. that are from the 1800s. But that's on a bigger, more expansive uh, scale. And yes, we will be there soon. That's pretty good, right, honey? Yes, definitely. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. This this place here, yeah, you have this house that's from the 1800s. Everything right. in here is... is yeah. The whole grounds, it, yeah. It, right. it brings you back. And everything. You can almost feel, not to get weird, but you can almost feel the history in here oh, yeah. as if the ghost of uh, the past are, are with us, joining sure. us. It's funny you mentioned the ghost <laughs> of Christmas past because this is exactly where we filmed two amazing commercials for the Harrison Law Group. We actually filmed the, uh, the introductory commercial mm -hmm. where we mentioned the Harrison Law Group several times and then all of us doing the ghost of lawsuits past, which is another hit. Mm -hmm. In fact, those commercials ran over 6,800 wow. times on wow. News 12, Hallmark, Hallmark's movie station, mm -hmm. Lifetime, Lifetime's movie station, yep. wow. the Country Channel, and uh, yeah, some of the other ones. <laughs> wow, and 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 yep. FiOS as well. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And we're still getting recognized. I can imagine. Unbelievable. That is mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. So this all started from from uh, three books, Ebenezer the Traveler, with, with three books written by Leland Prater. Right. What what happened was, I had the concept because playing Scrooge in different street fairs, mm -hmm. and then later on after street fairs stage and then later on after that in again different types of street fairs uh appearing on the cover of newsday not just as a pirate but as scrooge um 
you have to start developing a backstory. Right. And the backstory became the certain concepts. Now, believe it or not, that backstory wasn't this at all. It was actually Ebenezer seven years earlier where Marley was still alive that year. Okay. And then it got twisted. Uh, one of our showrunners got it over to one of the channels. They suggested, why don't we have a then and a now? That seemed to pique more interest. Mm -hmm. All right, we said, we'll do it. Then we started a pilot. That was done at the old Bethpage Village Restoration and then later upgraded right here in the Mount Sinai sets. Leland Prater, our writer, was brought in to write not just three books, but those are six episodes. And now we actually wow. have about ten episodes. Ten episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The, yeah, the pilot here is two episodes and a beginning and ending. Where, where are you right now with... With your filming, are you are you on the first pilot right now? This is the, the pilot. Beginning? Yep, and we are officially in production. How's it going, yes. Joanne? Oh, fantastic! You having we fun? Have, yeah, <laughs> we have a great crew. Okay. And Valenti Vision. Fantastic. If I don't mention Joe Valenti, Joe yes. Valenti is amazing. Yeah. He, he is really amazing. is. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. and he 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 got together with all of us not just to do this, but when it was time to do those commercials I mentioned. Yes. I, I can't. This guy brings your your thoughts to life. Yeah. He does. You, you have yeah. an idea, and he puts it on screen the exact way you envision it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Um, maybe we could watch those two commercials. What do you think? Yeah, I'll That's run. I'll idea. run the commercials. Let's uh, let's check out. Uh, what's the first one? Uh, don't tell me. It it's, goes to Christmas past. The, no, the first one's the introductory. Okay. Uh -huh. And then the second one is Christmas present. And guess what? The client has ordered two or three more for this coming winter. Wow. To integrate. He was with happy. Oh, very yeah, happy. Absolutely. The phones are ringing. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right, so let's run those commercials right now. Ebenezer Scrooge, I am the ghost of Christmas. Tiny Tim, what are you doing here with him? I'm helping you, Mrs. Dilbert. This is the ghost of Christmas present. You're a little late, aren't you? I've already settled with the ghost of Christmas future. I'm a new man. Indeed he is, a new man in an old body. What? You must forgive him. He was in an accident. <laughs> well, you don't need me any longer. You need a lawyer. Here, try mine. The Harrison Law Group. Ah, the Harrison Law Group. Harrison Law Group? Yes, of course, the Harrison Law Group. Just tap the number on the card. Brett Harrison here. How can I help you today? My horse and carriage were T-boned on the way here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. We handle all types of accidents. We can definitely help you, even during the holiday season. From all of us to all of you. Happy Holidays! Are you the ghost of Christmas future? He's worse. Marley, what could be worse than the ghost of Christmas future? The ghost of lawsuits past. Now that's scary. Thinking a problem is long dead and buried, only to have it come back and haunt you, that's the stuff of nightmares. Tiny Tim's leg? But I thought that was settled. I told you to use a real lawyer, but no. Your nephew knew somebody who could save a shilling. It's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you plenty. Bah, humble. If you're haunted by the ghost of lawsuits past, Maybe we can help. Give us a call at the Harrison Law Group. So you could review my case. From all of us to all of you. Happy Holidays! <laughs> I gotta tell you, man. They never get old, you know? Like you said, they were, they were played how many times? 6,000 times? 6,800 6, times. Wow. wow. I, I, I saw them a dozen times or more, and they don't they don't get old. They're, they're very entertaining. Usually commercials come well, on. Well, you were very good in it, too, I must tell you. <laughs> the Ghost of Christmas Present. Um, ghost of Lawsuits Past. Yes. Lawsuits That's past. very scary. <laughs> what's, fu what's funny is, f and, and not because I'm not on the commercial, but most of the times when a commercial comes on, people change the channel. That's right. And right. I... People watched They ours. watched the They commercials. watched it. Yes. it was, they remembered the name of the lawyer. That's yes. exactly yes. right. In fact, so mm -hmm. how that worked itself out was very simple. We did that three months earlier. Yep. It was cut, ready to go. 
put on TV exactly the holiday time, and it was pertinent to that. The time no Super Bowl the time in yeah, yes. perfect. All right, so listen. I know you're on your lunch break. Yep, I, I want you to enjoy run, your lunch. Thanks. Get back on set. I know now. you have to get back on set. Yep. You, everything's everything's about time here. Yes, it so is. So yeah. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna walk around the house here, and if, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna oh, interview some of the other cast members. You're yeah, absolutely the best of the filmmaker yeah. show. All right, thank you guys. Good times here filming uh, Ebenezer the Traveler. This is a lot of fun today, and uh, we're here with Jeff. Jeff, uh, your son Austin is is in the movie. That's correct. And how cool is that? That you, you... It's pretty cool. He's playing Tiny Tim. Nice. And um, it's really exciting to watch. And um, son Austin's been acting a very very long time. Okay. Uh, probably since he's about four years old. Wow. Well, how old is he now? He's 14 now. Wow, 10 years. And um, yeah, it's very exciting to watch him work and watch all the cast members work together. It's a painstaking process, certainly. I mean, the amount of times they refilm and recut and try lines different ways with different voice inflections and different accentuations on different words. It's it's a grueling process, but this is the way professionals work. And you that's it. Have that's good the word. Product. That's the word. Professionals, because professionals do it until it's right, and uh, it could drive you nuts. I know that. But. Right, and there's many varying opinions about how things should be done, and then there's edits to the script, so it's it's just a very long process. But at the end of the road, as you've seen by the trailer, which is incredible, um, the, the end of the road's going to be a very, very successful project. And, and be excited about it. It's well written by Leland, and, uh, you know, I got the three books at home, and it's, it's awesome. It, it's coming to life, you know. It's like everybody does these, you know, they write a book or whatever. And they talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. It's nice for this whole project. It's, it's, it's coming to life. Yeah, I mean, we've been we're watching, watching it. We've been watching, watching it come to life. For, what, three years now? Three years, over three years, yeah. About yeah three over three years, years yeah. now. We've been watching the development yeah. of how everything comes together. So it's, it's really it, exciting to finally see it Everybody's happen. joining together and making this happen, and it's awesome. It's a lot of great teamwork. And uh, your son, Austin's awesome. Thank I, you. I, thank I, did, you. Did, I did the commercials uh, with him for uh, Harrison Law Group. Right, and I remember. I remember. <laughs> Those are funny. <laughs> Those are a lot all of funny over, jokes and people over. having a good time. And your son definitely is is an, uh, a professional. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. He's works worked very hard to where he's gotten, and he's certainly had a lot of training. Right. He's had a lot of experience, and he's he's done a myriad of different projects from commercials, TV, movies. So he has a lot of different things under his belt. So. I would only expect him to produce something special, you know, as a contribution to this project. So right. it'll be exciting to see how it all ends up. I can't wait. And so Meticu Joe Valente. Joe Valente, Oof. very, very meticulous. Top of the line. He, every angle, every yep. shot, he does a hundred times to make sure it's right and lighting and angles and, you know, ambiance, everything. He makes every sure everything's perfect. He's the um, jack of all trades. He's, right. He's... Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, I was blown away by just the trailer was insane. Right. I mean, just incredible work. Right. Incredible. So, and it, what, what was funny to your story was like if they, if they film a whole day and there's a Poland spring bottle sitting there on the shelf, and this is supposed to be the 1800s, yeah. how do you work a Poland spring bottle well, into your 1800s? Well, it has to be, either it has to be reshot or they, sometimes they could just edit it out, yeah, you know, uh, cut yeah. the screen, but, yeah. you know, nobody wants to have to make any more work than they already have to right. do as right. it is because we know editing is a grueling process to begin with, so... So these are long days for Austin. 
Yeah. Right? Yes. Very long days. Yes. And, and so obviously I see him in there reading right now. So he comes here and he's doing some schoolwork and stuff yeah. like that, staying on top of everything. Yeah, know? I mean, he's done enough of this where so he, he knows, knows what he's doing. He sits quietly, yeah. waits for his moment. So Austin, you're up. He gets yeah. up. He puts his stuff down. He yeah. goes and does his thing and then just yeah. waits for the next. Professional as professional can be, yeah. man. He doesn't complain. No. He doesn't whine. He doesn't moan. He yeah. doesn't and say anything. He comes into character like that. It's like, you know. Yeah. And, and listen, he's also doing a British accent, which, yes. you know, that's, that's not a easy. challenge. Also, he's got to memorize a script, produce a script, um, be able to enunciate properly and put the accent on top of it. It's not so easy, you know, for, for people. It's it's a challenge, especially at a young age. So and one of the things that, I mean, it's awesome. I never I never did and I should have. Uh, he's a, you said he's a, he's a martial artist. Martial he's artist. Uh, involved in kickboxing. So he's very athletic. Uh, Muay Thai and various disciplines. He's learning various disciplines of martial arts. Right. And he's always interested in it. So it's just he wants to learn another one. Okay, I yeah. want to learn another one. I want yeah. to learn. He likes to learn all the angles, yeah. all the styles. Yeah. He's just very, he's like a student of the martial arts. Yeah. He's doing really? a lot of the stuff I wish I did at his age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Uh, and, and all the best. And I, can't wait, to, I can't wait to see the finished product, man. Awesome. It's be awesome. Thanks Thank for you. having me you're, on. You're a great Appreciate dad. You're an awesome dad. Thanks. Oh, the holidays. The most magical time of the year. Filled with celebrations of joy and cheer. And stories as old as time. God bless us, everyone. Merry Christmas, sir. Would you care to give a little something to help the poor? Your generosity will help those in need. Humbug. Some stories we all know by heart. Ebenezer Scrooge. You will be visited by three spirits. The ghost of Christmas past. The ghost of Christmas present. And the ghost of Christmas future. Or at least we thought we did. Perhaps we just had the wrong book. Ebenezer Scrooge, you're one of the special circumstances. You must admit, you lived a wretched life. I changed. Oh, please spare I changed, I promised the spirits. Your promise was too little and too late. No, Ebenezer Scrooge, your greed filled you, and in the end, your greed killed you. So what of me then? To be neither dead nor alive? You will still have a chance to earn your redemption by helping others to find their own. You mean like Jacob? Exactly like Mr. Marley. Jacob Marley? Tiny Tim? Not quite as tiny as you remember me, sir. But if you're both here, where am I? Dead. Dead? As a doornail. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Mr. Scrooge, sir. What is the meaning of all of this? The four of us are now dependent upon each other, for better or worse. I'm Fan. Fan? Dependent on each other for what? Redemption. Your second chance will have to be here now, Ebenezer, the same as ours. All tied to whether or not we succeed and are finally permitted to rest. So don't muck it up. This is the untold twist in the life of Ebenezer Scrooge. These mirrors are how we find those in need. You've got lives to save and ages to cross just to start. I don't know how I could be a guardian angel. I was a very good human. This young lady's named angel. And she's in grave danger. You've no time to spare. Be clear. What do you need Ebenezer and I to do? 
You've been given a second opportunity to prove your words at the grave to be genuine. We're all they have now, Ebenezer. We can't let them down. Sometimes, an ending is just a place for an all-new beginning. What? How am I to do that? Calm down, Saint Scrooge. We're not girding you up in holy armor to slay a dragon. Just... almost. God bless us, everyone! Not now, Tim! Poor humbug! Hey guys, I'm Grace. And I'm Sarah. And today we'll be making blueberry muffins. From scratch. <laughs> Alright, so the first step is preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Which we already did. <laughs> so first we're going to put one and one half cup of flour into the bowl. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it was just funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna put three fourth cup of sugar. Okay, so now we're gonna put one half teaspoon of salt in. Oh, sorry, Ready? it's kind of stuck. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. And then once all of that's done, you're gonna whisk it, it all together. together. And these are just the dry ingredients. Yep. All right, so you're just gonna whisk it in a large bowl, and then you get it to set it aside after. Right, that's good. Okay, so now all the dry ingredients are set to the side and we're gonna work on the wet ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna put in here is a third cup of vegetable oil. And then we're gonna add in one egg. And then a third cup of milk. Okay, then we're gonna- And then we're gonna mix. Mix them all together. <laughs> until it's all combined. Okay, so now that all of it is whisked together, we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. We're going to oh, I mix it all together. Until it's kind of like a dough. All right, so once you're done mixing both the ingredients together, the last step is just to add the one cup of frozen blueberries, or they can be fresh. Ah, they're not all coming out. Sticking, because they're okay. frozen. Hold it. All right, so you're not gonna actually mix them, you're gonna fold them in, because they're really delicate. They're already starting to turn the batter a little purple, blue, whatever. <laughs> So you're just gonna kind of fold like the blueberries fold it in. in until it's all well combined. And until you see like really no more yellow if they're frozen. Looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, so now that the blueberries are folded in, we are going to scoop into the baking pan to have them. Try not to make a mess. We already greased the baking sheet too. Oh my god. So it shouldn't stick. I'm gonna try and even, evenly scoop this. We couldn't find the ice cream scoop, so this will just have to do. It's a little bit messy though. Saved it. Definitely working better than the scoop. Get that last blueberry. Okay, so now that we scooped all of our batter into the pan, we are going to be making the crumble topping. 
So we're gonna add one half cup of sugar, one third cup of flour, one and one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth cup butter that is cubed. Okay, and then I'll do this part because it's a little, okay. okay. So the butter is cubed and we're going to mix it until it's nice and crumbly. So now that we made the crumbs, we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the muffins. More kind of, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really watching what I was doing. This is gonna turn out really, really good. Okay, we actually made a lot of crumbs, so it's actually a good thing because I love crumbs on it. It's so good. So you can actually like evenly like spread them yeah. onto each muffin. There's a lot. Yeah. And just flatten it so that when it bakes, There's a little bit more. it sticks to the muffin. Add it to this one. We added a lot of crumb, but... It's That's how we the, like it. The more, the more the crumbs, the more tastier it is. You can really just measure it to however much you want. Yeah, on maybe top of just maybe you know, a lot of something, sugar or something. Time to bake. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes, looks like they're ready. I think they're ready. So we're gonna turn this off and take out our muffins. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> look at those. They look like ginormous. Oh my god. Oh my god, they smell like incredible. So good. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks so good. Muffins made by Grace and Sarah. And we're gonna have a little taste test yeah. once they cool down. Yeah. Thank you. 